laced throughout this proceeding was Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. They first claimed that he was giving direction to Bradley Manning. Then they claimed that Bradley Manning was using his wanted list, um, to, uh, the so-called WikiLeaks wanted list, which was actually put together not by WikiLeaks, but by NGOs and human rights organizations. Meaning, was an, oh, what was the wanted list? The wanted list is a list of documents that WikiLeaks um, had up that said, these are the documents um, that might be interesting. I don't recall the exact words. Um, that, that, that would be interesting to reveal to the, to the, to the public. Um, and that list is put together by human rights groups, NGOs, put on the WikiLeaks website. So a lot of this was threaded through with Julian Assange uh, and WikiLeaks. And that aspect was fascinating because it's the third point that I think is really important, is they're trying to get journalists in as co-conspirators or aiding and abetting their sources. They started with Julian Assange. This trial is, in fact, in part, perhaps a large part, about getting journalists uh, like Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. And I know you've discussed it here. Um, when Rosen, when James Rosen of Fox, uh, the, the government looked at James Rosen's phone records, and they did it with an affidavit that said he is a co-conspirator or an aider and a better of his source. So we're talking about— James Rosen is the Fox reporter who got information about North Korea, and the government went after him, got his—apparently got a subpoena for his emails, and apparently uh, Eric Holder himself, uh, the attorney general, approved the investigation of him. That's correct. But the, And the key way they got it was by saying he is a co-conspirator or aider and a better of his source. Um, so you have here um, Fox News, which was ready to bury Julian Assange um, as, a, as a, quote, co-conspirator or solicitor or whatever they wanted to call him, now has one of their own. So hopefully it will make Fox and other media understand there is a major attack on truth-tellers, on journalists, um, and this trial really is encapsulates that. The sad part is there's a human being at the center of this, a human being who David uh, Coombs, his lawyer, pointed out not only where were a humanist dog tag, but didn't do a dump here. This was not a dump. He could he had access to hundreds of millions of documents, as you said in uh, in the opening to this show. He could have dumped if he was going to dump millions of documents, but that's not what he did. What he did was he selectively looked at documents and he did two things. These are going to these are things that my conscience bothers me about um, when we're murdering and killing people and committing war crimes, um, and. Secondly, he made sure that those were documents that were not going to harm U.S. forces.